Hey everybody, this is Joe Triple Three from Lag Spike TV here to show you today how to set up a broadcast. Now, I would recommend using XSplit because it's extremely user friendly, and for anybody who doesn't want to get too complicated, this is definitely the program you want to go with. To grab this program, you would have to go to www.xsplit.com. Uh, just go straight there and grab the download and once you install it this will be the screen that would pop up with now we're going to go ahead and log into my account but if you hadn't created an, an account yet I would, I would go here and it would set you up with their website to be able to create an account now we'll go ahead and log in here it takes a few seconds now this is the uh, usual notice advertisement they'll tell you about a specific things that it that it supports news stuff like that you know when it pops up but uh here now this is XSplit this is a uh, a demo uh, capture device that I have up here showing basically how it works now <coughs> if you wanted to use like say your Dazzle or your EasyCap or anything of the sort it's really easy as soon as you have that installed on your computer using your software you just go to add add camera and then you could add it here now these are all the ones that I currently have on my computer so these are basic really easy to use now if you want to adjust things like your resolution you can go here to view resolution and you can select whichever resolution you want now when yours starts up since you're going to be a brand new user you're going to have a lot more on this list than I currently have this is after I've set up everything <coughs> uh, if you want to do something similar to what I have here or change it to suit your needs you would just go to edit resolutions and go ahead and do that there um, frame rate I usually set that on 30 frames per second but that's totally up to you as to what you want to do <coughs> um, scale viewport this helps out if you want to have the pro program shown at 720p on your preview window or if you want to just get it small get it out of the way whatever you want to do that really helps out too um, <coughs> if you want to broadcast this really helps you out you would go to broadcast and edit channels and then it would give you a channel listing here I have my local recording where I can save all of my recordings straight to my computer or I have the lag spike TV which is of course casting to lag spike TV now we're gonna go ahead and set up a channel that we're gonna set up a broadcast that goes to your channel how you do that is click add and you go to Justin Twitch TV right here it'll pop up with the, the properties here and you go ahead and set it up now if you have a if you don't have a Justin or a Twitch TV account it'll give you the option down here to where you can sign up on their website and then you're basically good to go um, you would enter your username right here and then once you go down to password it'll pop up with your channel right here to make sure that it's actually there <coughs> Now, once you're done with that, you uh, enter in your password, since this is going to be you connecting your account now. If you want other users through the members program on Twitch TV to be able to connect to your account, they can set it up like this. They'll put in the username, but then they'll put in the stream key right here that goes to that channel. Now, since we're just using it for us, you would enter your password right here. All right, then it would pop up with your channel. Uh, the presets, these are all quality settings basically to mess with to set yourself up. Now say you have three megs of upload speed. You don't want to use all of that upload speed to be able to broadcast. If you try to play any multiplayer games or anything like that, it's going to lag you. Like all of those uh, Battlefield and Call of Duty players. What you would want to do is set it to something like 2000, which is two megs of upload speed to have the best quality possible and to also be able to play online without any lag issues now I would recommend setting quality to 10 which would really help you out in overall visual quality of the broadcast but that depends on your hardware and what you want to do I would also recommend changing the audio format to these settings for the best audio format possible and then we would go ahead and hit OK and then apply and then your settings have saved and then that's it 
if you want to broadcast, you just go up here, broadcast, and then if I wanted to do the lag spike or to my channel, I would just click it, and that's it. I am all done. Easy to do. Now, if this video really helped you out, or if you need some other help or anything like that, go ahead and send a message to my email here, joe3345 at gmail.com. I'll be more than happy to help answer your questions. I've been working with this for over two years, so I could probably help you with any question you have. So go ahead and drop me an email if you really want really need some help and I really hope this video has helped you out and I'd be happy to see you broadcasting on Lagspike. Hope to see you again soon. Bye.